goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Let's talk about Ted Cruz's uh, tweet, okay? Or what he said about the U.S. Army. He called the U.S. Army too woke and emasculated. Why did he call the U.S. Army too woke and emasculated? Because of an ad that the U.S. Army released, and it had it was like a cartoon. And it was a girl, and she was talking about how she wanted to be in the Army, and now she's now in the Army, and stuff like that. Now, girls can be in the Army. Okay, usual inclusiveness, all that stuff, right? Recently, the CIA released an ad as well. And people were upset about that. Uh, not only was it just taken the wrong way by almost everybody, uh, <laughs> except for the more resistance crowd. They kind of like that. They like to be, you know, the fluffy stuff. And whether hiring more minorities, more, my, more minorities is going to change how the CIA operates, I don't really think it will. But that's what people were criticizing it for and or people on the left were criticizing it for you know not really changing anything and just using them as tokens and then people on the right were saying this is uh, more wokeness and why do we need more wokeness and you're we're being we're looked at as weak and all this other sort of stuff right so get to ted cruz um apparently an msnbc reporter called him kremlin cruz why did, he, did this reporter call him kremlin cruz because he basically Talk, he basically drew a comparison between the U.S. Army uh, recruitment ad and the Russian military recruitment ad. Keeping in mind that just because they changed their ads, right? Just because they changed the style of ads that they're putting out there, I don't think it changes the strength of the military. Um, just because there are more women in the military, I don't think that changes the strength of the military. That's what he was getting at, okay? But, but instead of, you know, just talking about that as a basis of argument, whether he's making the argument uh, in good faith or not, we go back to this whole naming thing and this obsession with MSNBC and CNN, for that matter, have, have had this obsession with the Russians, especially after the Trump era. OK, after Trump and the Russiagate, all that they have literally, especially Rachel Maddow and others on MSNBC went completely down the Russia rabbit hole, just just like. Putin this, uh, so and so this, uh, Gor not Gor I'm say Gorbachev, some some this Russian name here, Russian mobster, th just all Russia every day, just like how Fox News is. Well, they're not all China every day, but kind of how they treat China. That's how the MSNBC views Russia and China for that matter, but more Russia because Trump had something to do with Russia. It's just, oh my goodness. Anyway, so. People have decided to, to run with this. Um, like Brooklyn Dad Defiant, he said, Happy Saturday morning to everyone who doesn't use their Twitter account to spread Russian propaganda and to slam the military the way Kremlin Cruz did. Now, technically, him all military recruitment ads, all recruitment ads, period, from anywhere, including the U.S., are propaganda. It's all propaganda, okay? <laughs> it's trying to get you to join. It's trying to, you know, portray themselves as um, fighting a noble cause, um, come join, be patriotic, all that. It's propaganda. All of it's propaganda. So by technical definition, yes, he put out Russian propaganda, but it's a, it's an ad. All of this stuff is propaganda. The U.S. military ad with the girl and everything, and that's all propaganda, right? So this is my problem. People are, it's like people purposely missing the, the whole spin thing. They purposely misinterpret something and uh, try to spin it into something else even though that's not what it was originally meant to be they spin it into that and because Cruz Cruz you know if it came down to it he probably I don't know I'm not gonna say he wanted to go to war with Russia but I don't I think um, a lot of conservatives uh, they have this uh, thing about image even if there is no change that like just because they put a woman in an ad doesn't change the strength of our military, but they want to keep talking about promoting this image of strength, image of strength, promote the image, whether you're strong or weak, <laughs> promote this image of strength. You have to be strong. You have to be manly. You have to be this. And it's just image. It's literally all image. So <sighs> my problem is this whole, this first off the, the uh, complete misinterpretation of what he was doing. Cause he, he was basically just drawing a comparison, but <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, it's on the TV. <laughs> it's on the TV. Anyway, they call him because, like I said, he him calling the U.S. military emasculated is uh, kind of a bad shot at the military because they're not emasculated. They're pretty strong. The, the U.S. Army and the U.S. military is very strong. All right. We're the most dominant force on Earth. Uh, add one simple ad with a girl in it is not going to change that. And 
so I don't eat, but anyway, but that's besides the point. Then you got people on the other side just labeling him Kremlin Cruz and saying he's promoting Russian propaganda and stuff like that when he wasn't trying to promote Russian propaganda. What he was trying to do was draw a comparison because the Russian military, they're jumping out of planes, blowing up stuff, you know, chopping logs, whatever, right? It's usual Russian stuff, okay? The Russian military is notorious and has a stereotype of being just grizzly bears pretty much and being very ruthless. So, um, <sighs> that's a joke, by the way. I have to add that caveat. But, um, I really, oh, goodness, I really just, this type of politics just annoys me because it's literally, it just goes down to name calling. Like the right, they call, a lot of people on the right call Biden, Beijing Biden. They're like, he has, he's in Xi Jinping's pocket, just like Democrats were like, uh, Trump's in Putin's pocket. And it's just, it's all so annoying. It's literally the most annoying thing I've ever seen in my life. In my whole entire life, it's annoying. <laughs> like, please, 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 for the love of everything, stop, stop this. I know that people are going to say, that's just politics, that's just politics. Well, can we stop doing this? <laughs> like, can, can this not be politics? Because at this point, you're just name calling and, and this, that, just, oh my goodness. What The last four years has literally dumbed down politics to such a point, to such a point where people can just get away with the most laziest, um, bad faith, weak arguments, just basically attacking the other person's character pretty much. That's what it comes down to. It's just insulting and name calling everybody. Um, and then on top of that, on top of that, people uh, yesterday, there was something funny when they said uh, emasculated Cruz. Now, Ted Cruz himself was, uh, I wouldn't say he was emasculated, but basically, when Trump assaulted his wife, remember Trump was on a rampage back in the 2015 primaries. He basically called Ted Cruz's wife ugly. And Ted Cruz responded and was like, you know, leave her alone. Don't talk about my wife like that. And uh, years later, or, or after Trump won, he basically became just a, a worshiper of Trump in a way. Like he was on board with everything Trump did. He was always trying to, you know, talk about how great the man was and stuff. So people saw that as like, yo, you let this man clown you and your wife, <laughs> called you Lion Ted, said your, your dad was like, what, the Zodiac killer or something? And then you're going to turn around and just worship this man like he's the best thing ever, which, I mean, Ted Cruz doesn't really have a choice. That's his ba his base. The people in his um that voted for him like Trump. So this man really doesn't have a choice. A lot of these guys who were insulted by Trump really don't have a choice. So, um... I mean, this, but behind closed doors, you know, they're probably insulting each other all the time. But when it happens out in public, it's different. And then you got to turn around and like shake hands and be nice to the person who just just ripped you apart, pretty much. Um, so, you know, <laughs> that was kind of funny yesterday. But but yeah, this whole type of politics is just annoying. And it's trending number one. Is it still trending number one? Oh, let me refresh. Let me refresh refresh still trending number one good lord okay anyway that's all i had to say about this i just had to go on a rant a whole rant about this anyway what do you guys think about it let me down let me know down below in the comment section be sure to like comment subscribe subscribe like comment comment subscribe like whenever you do it however you do it wherever you do it just do it it's your boy red x black and i'm out peace I can't